In this video, I'm going to show you how to select a sky. This is one of two methods that I use. The other method I'll save for a different video. Right, I've got an image up, as you can see, of a landscape shot. Or a waterscape. And it's got a very obvious sky. So down the right hand side where you have your choice of tabs, we're going to choose the fourth one down, which is a circle. It's called masking. Click on it once. And some new options to do with masking appear. Uh, now the first one is select subject. If I just um, let the little animation play. If you did click on that and you had a very obvious subject in your image, um, like a portrait, then it may do a very good job at just selecting that. Uh, the other specialist one it uses is select sky, which of course is what we're going to choose. And I'm going to click on that. The algorithm will then analyze the photo and try and detect what it thinks is a sky. And as you can see, there we go, it's a very, it's a very good job. Even the tower has been um, not included in the sky, so it, since it's not pink. Now this overlay is, um, if it's not shown by the way, just click this checkbox on and off if you want to see what is about to be edited or affected. So if it's pink, it is going to be affected. If you don't have pink, you may have a different color. You click on this color, you can just choose whatever color you want as the overlay. I'm just going to stick with um, pink. I'm just going to OK that. OK, so I'm very happy with the choice that it's made. So I'm just going to deselect that. And now the slide is down the right or only affect what the pink area was, i.e. the sky. I'm just going to show you one particularly good slider to use for dramatic skies. And it's dehaze, about three quarters of the way down. Dehaze um, originally came from trying to remove hazy mist or fog that you often got on landscape shots. Um, it's basically a contrast slider, but it's very targeted, uh, uh, sorry, targeted very much at um, those tonalities which particularly help you bring back something behind a layer of fog or haze, hence the name. But it's great for skies. So I'm just going to move the slide up to about 30. Now, if you want to toggle on and off to see what's happened, go to the bottom right hand corner of your image. Select the right hand icon, just click on it once. And it will show you a before, if you click it again, after. And you can see that it's brought some of the rays of light beaming through those clouds back. Um, now, just for effect, I shall ramp it up even more. There we go. And I'm now happy with what my sky is doing. So I will go back to my main edit tab at the top right hand side. And what I'd like to do is create more of a silhouette for the land. So I'm actually going to take my shadows and decrease them. So I get um, more focus on that dramatic sky. Okay, so that's how to find mask and play with the sky. Uh, it's not always successful because it depends on how intricate the sky is compared to the land. Uh, one last thing, if you'd like to reset your entire image and just start again because you've made too many um, alterations, go down to the right hand set of options, find the very bottom one which has three dots, click on it once, and the top one says reset to open. You click on that, it will reset all of your changes back to the original way that the image opened up. I'm obviously not going to do that. 
um, I may export this now as a JPEG. Or if you click on Open, it will go back into the normal Photoshop um, window, and then you can export it from there.